started. Welcome everybody, and uh, this is our this is our eighth podcast, and today we've got a little something special. It's our American Hat Company Enthusiast Group 20,000 member giveaway. Uh, we're going to be doing that tonight, um, but we've got Lionel and Clay with us tonight. How are you guys doing? Doing good. How about you, Jeff? I'm pretty good. Doing great. How are y'all doing? Good deal. We had a little rocky start here, but uh, we'll make up for it. Uh, this is going to be an hour-long show tonight. Um, it's not going to be horribly long. Uh, first of all, I want to say uh, American Hat Company is the official hat of Cowboy Cartel Group, and Joby's Hat Store um, is the official hat shaper. So uh, uh, we will continue to feature other brands and shapers in our reviews, but I have uh, high standards. And um, these two companies always exceed my expectations for quality and customer service. Uh, this episode is, is devoted to um, American straw hats, straw hats in general, So American Hat Company was nice enough to give us a hat for um, our 20,000 <clears> excuse me member giveaway, and um, that's that's going to be your choice of straw hat and uh, in the size you you need. Now it can be shaped at the factory, or um, you can order it open crown, and and have your favorite shaper shape it. Um, you can also have it sent to Best Hat, and um, they'll shape it up for you and, and send it on to you. All right. That being said, what are you guys wearing tonight? Well, I got my uh, American 50-50 straw. Got my uh, American 7800. Yeah, I got the 7800 sitting here somewhere. Phenomenal hat. Um, love that hat. It's a great hat. Love it. It's just, um, I mean, it's, a, it's such a classy look. And, I mean, you can wear it for any occasion, but I, I think it's just a, a really classy hat. Um, I got my 5100 on. Um, I haven't had too many chances to wear this this summer. I just, I got it several weeks ago, right at the end of um, straw season. So it's not even broken in currently. It, it fits pretty good. It might need a little tune-up here and there. Um, We'll get that taken care of before next season. I know it's I know it's felt season, but uh, you know, in honor of our our giveaway, we're wearing straw. Well, it's still pretty warm here in the south, so you're common to see people wearing straw. Oh, okay. yeah. What was it's the temperature pretty... in y'all state? What were we looking at today? Uh, we it's were been uh, 78 was our high, 56 was our low. 78. I mean, that's that's felt season for me. I yeah, it's pretty much fell season right there. Yeah, it was pretty us, nice but... today. Uh, we were we were up in the high 80s this week, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be about it. We're going, we're taking a trip up to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, uh, next weekend, and their high is gonna be about 69, and the low is gonna be in the 40s. So it's gonna be it's gonna be real. It's it's gonna be peak felt season up there. I look forward to well, it. It's felt season. It's 90 degrees right now at uh, almost eight o'clock at night. In, in Texas, and, um, you know, it's going to be in, in the 90s for the next few weeks. But, you know, it's going to be 58 degrees tonight at night, so it's it's kind of one of those things in the early morning and at night, you know, it, it's still, you know, still cool enough to wear felt, and I'm I'm happy to see a little cooler weather. Yeah, you, me, both. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's 85 right got, now. Yeah, we're setting, we're setting at 69 right here. So I'm gonna yeah, that's nice. Now. Yeah, you guys. It, um, it was 95 earlier today, though. You guys got some of that that humid weather, though. You guys, what are you sitting at? Probably in the in the 90 degree humidity or 90 percent humidity. We don't check that anymore. I don't blame you. We are set. We're, it's, it's actually, you know, surprisingly today we stayed in the, about 76 percent humidity. It felt great. Cool. Yeah, I didn't even check. 76 is too high for me. It's usually in the 50s here. Yeah, usually so. it's in it's about 90. Not like in the morning, it'll it'll be. I'll get up at 3 a.m. to go to work. It's going to be about 50 degrees, but it's going to be 90, 90% humidity. All right. So did I say I'm wearing the 5100? Yeah, I just 77% here. Yeah. All right. Let's get into it. Um, 
American hat. So for me, uh, you know, American straw, just looking at the website, if you don't have a chance to go out and actually pick one of these hats up and, and check it out in the store, then, you know, you're kind of limited to, to pictures only. And some of the American stock photos on their website are not great. You're kind of, I mean, they are a manufacturer. You know, they aren't, they aren't doing the advertising for the product. That's up to the retailers. You know, um, retailer wants to display an American hat. They need to do a better job of it. And, and I, there are some people who, who post some amazing photos of the hats and make them, you know, make them shine really what they, what they really look like. Um, so if you go onto the American Hat Company webpage, some of the some of the you know the stock photos just aren't aren't that appealing. You really have to to take a look at them and feel them next to another hat um, to see the you know the huge difference. You know the the sweatband is just amazing in these hats, and that's this you know I I did a video on uh, American versus Resist All. Um, quite a while back, I was in the beginning, and, and one of the biggest things, you know, is that it's that, um, that hat band, you know, it's just a, it's just a ribbon, but it lays perfectly every time, and, you know, those resist all, um, hat bands, they, you know, you pretty much have to iron them or steam them or something every time you wear it, you know, if you hang it upside down, it's, it's, put the hat on and they're sticking up, right? Absolutely. So, I mean, it's just that kind of attention to detail that, um, really, you know, kind of sets American apart. You pick up a um, one hundred fifty dollar straw with a um, you know a famous singer's name on it, and you look inside and you say, well, "Man, that's what is that? Is that is that leather?" Because you know you can't tell. Sometimes you can't tell whether it's a leather sweatband or not, and and that's a problem. You know, if it's if it's such a thin piece of leather, uh, or the quality isn't good enough where you can't tell if it's you know, straw or, or, I'm sorry, whether it's leather or um, plastic, that's a problem. You know, you get down in the $100 range, you can tell, you know, uh, some of the rafter C, you know that's a plastic ha hat band in there. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's a huge difference uh, for me. And then the feel, and, and I'll tell you this as a hat shaper, um, when, you, when you apply steam to some of the uh, water-based or alcohol-based lacquers, it'll eat right through that lacquer and the straw will get wet underneath. That doesn't happen with the Americans. Um, it's just, you know, it's got a different lacquer on it. It's got a different feel altogether. What do you guys think? I mean... Oh, 110% you guys, you guys agree. Yeah, no, so, definitely. Uh, I've, I've owned several different brands of straw hats and there's a reason that there's a stack of Americans sitting over there in the corner and not another brand. Right. I mean, there's a reason where, I mean, I'm right here. One, two, three, four, five. There's five Americans and two of another brand. There's a reason there's five Americans in here and not five Resistals or Stetsons or Rodeo Kings or, you know, whatever you want to say. And, and, you know, people can argue over brand loyalty or it, I don't care. This is cheaper. This is that. Until you get your hands on a higher quality straw like an American, there you, you don't know. I mean, there's there's 110 percent a difference between this hat to something else. I agree, and the, and the price point, yeah. you know, it's it's not, you know, it's not that much more than, you know, some of those high end straws. No, now you're paying you know, 100 to 40, 140 to 160 dollars for a resist all, where you're averaging 180 to 200 dollars for an American. It's, That's right. It's, it's not that much more for the quality. Right, and, you know, and that and that goes to another thing. You, you know those Kojo hats, like that um, Kojo Vaquero, <laughs> the Lionel hats. Yeah. It's it's forty three dollars, okay. Head. And if if you if you put that Kojo Vaquero on, uh, you know, on the table next to a Kojo that's um, one hundred and forty, one hundred forty five, one hundred forty three dollars, something like that, and you step back five foot, you can't tell the difference in quality. It looks like the same hat. And, uh, and it's they very put pointed. a bow. <sighs> it's, it's very, um, it's, it's a very, yeah, you, I lost my train of thought there, Lionel. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. <laughs> um, 
It's a very cheap looking hat. Oh, it is. Uh, you know, it's very plain. It, it's very plain. Even the hundred and forty dollar Kojo is very plain. It looks exactly like um, the Vicaro. Is that me? Sorry, I'm gonna turn mute on here. Um. So. Yeah, uh, you you really get up close to those, and it's a Shantung um, straw. Both of them are, I believe. But if you look at the Vicaro, it does have, um, you know, kind of an, a more open weave. You can tell the hundred and forty dollar uh, Kojo is, you know, is, is a little tighter woven hat. But um, you know, I, I don't I don't want to pay a hundred and forty dollars for something that looks like a forty dollar hat. Yeah, that's just me. To, to me, a lot of these hats from you know. They have a cheap look to them. And I, I'm, it's the only way to put it. Um, yes. American has a look of quality. I mean, to me, you don't you don't put the word dress and straw in the same sentence, but I would wear this as a dress hat in the summer somewhere, especially outside or to an event where you're going to be inside, outside versus a felt to a formal event because it's a good looking hat. It doesn't look like a, right. you know, like your cheap straw you wear out working somewhere. It's a good hat. But on the same fact, exactly. you can work the crap out of this hat too, and it's going to stay together. 100%. And Yeah, go ahead, Lionel. Oh, I was going to say, you know, Resist All has a big name, and and Stetson does too, you know. Um, and for that reason, you know, you talk to me about it, year year and a half ago i would have told you there's no other hats that i I really try to like stetson and resist all because of their you know nostalgia and everything but at the end of the day i went ahead and picked up an american hat and it showed all the difference i i I literally right away felt the difference you know the sweatband being better the letters not coming off you know just the fit is so amazing and the quality is really there. Like in the straw hats, the lacquer, it's out of this world. I mean, there's nobody that can say they make as good of a lacquer because I've seen, the, you know, I've have the $150 hats from Resistol and their lacquer is nowhere near. It still looks like the same thing, like Clay said, same as a cheap hat from, an, you know, their lower lines. And the uh, felts, I mean, there, you could see there's not as much attention to detail as there is on an American. I cannot have anything else in an American now because it's just, I feel like I'm, like I'm not wearing as good of a hat. So why, why would I want to wear that? And I've tried everything else from Rodeo King Stetson, Resist All. Um, I mean, just American is the best there is. And, uh, you know, that's why I just, I don't see myself wearing anything else. It just makes no sense. Yeah, a hundred percent. And um, I, I want to talk about uh, I want to talk about dress straw hats here in a minute. But uh, first of all, I want to say welcome to everybody in uh, in the audience. I we are we, we definitely have the biggest audience right now um, that we've had so far. Everybody's waiting to see that uh, that drawing. I'm sure, and we'll we'll get to that. <laughs> But um, I just want to let you know that comments are open uh, right now, and you can uh, you can ask us questions as we go along here. But we're going to talk about straw hats and American straw hats in general um, a little bit before we get to that drawing. Okay. So uh, back to um, back to a dress straw hat, and and I agree with you, Clay. You know, um, if if it's a, a situation where you need a dress hat, I would. Probably go with um, um, a felt over straw every time, uh, even in like uh, in the summer for a wedding. Unless it's 110 degrees, you know, um, I- I'm probably going to wear felt anyway, and it's probably going to be you know a lighter color felt, um, uh, the silver belly or you know silver sand or something like that. Um, but I do have people come in and they need. <clears throat> they need a straw hat for a wedding. And, you know, as far as that goes, everybody likes that, um, you know, that, that George Strait um, with the, the two or the three uh, vent holes on each side, you know, the, the little grommets. Yep. Yeah, I have that one. 
I don't know how that became, you know, the, um, you know, the, the, the classic straw hat, but it, it has. I think a big thing with that is that's all you, you know, other than now with Yellowstone, that's all you would ever see in, in, in media. You know, any type of show would be that classic George Strait, three grommet vent, cattleman with with a with a, a narrow front. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, um, if you look at you know old westerns, everybody's wearing a felt hat. You know, in the summer, in the desert, you know, all, you know all the time. There was no straw hats. Absolutely. Okay. You know, um, back to, uh, you know, the the pictures that American has on their website. Um, They use a standard stock photo of something that's been shaped. And so you don't get a a sense of what that hat's going to look like in a different shape. And, you know, and obviously I wear uh, a lot of Cattleman's. Um, This is my my first minute crown, and um, I'm kind of liking it. I don't think it's as formal. Um, I'm, I'm debating on whether to try a felt in a minute and we'll get to that later. Cause I've got a question for you guys on that. But, um, you know, these, you know, these retailers, they create their own shaping guide if they're any good at all. And they will, um, you know, they'll have a guide for you. Some places use the standard stock, um, American hat company. And I'll put a link to that or a, a picture of that right here. Uh, American has a, you know, a stock, uh, photo of their different shapes that yep. they offer shaped from the factory. Um, and you know, it's just basic. It's very basic. You know, you, you don't get into some of the, um, some of the other stuff, uh, you know, that, that some of these really creative shapers get into, but Joby, um, he's got this book that he's created. And if you go in there, you know, you can, and I'm going to ask him about this cause I'd love to, uh, be able to show, you know, some of his shapes that he has in that book, but he, you know, he, he does like a three shot from three different angles of these, uh, brim shapes, crown shapes. And, and you really, you really can, you know, it's, it's like a book. It's like a catalog. You go through there and you say, Oh, I like this crown. I like this brim, put these together for me. Oh, but can you do this? Yeah, you can do it. It's, you know, some of the stuff he does is just amazing. And and he's not the only one, you know, um, you know, there, there are a lot of places that have their own guide. He, uh, uh, so. I mean, if you ever watch him on social media and the, the hats that they post, that they shape, I mean, they, they post shapes and names of shapes I've never even seen before. I mean, and that's yeah. constant no, all definitely. the time. And it's, yeah, it's, it's but, crazy how, how in depth that, that just Joby goes on that compared to some other shops. Right. And, you know, and, and that's another thing. Um, we had a comment today on the, uh, enthusiast group, American hat company enthusiast group about, hat shapes and, and somebody's calling it the Pikes Peak and somebody, you know, and now it's called the Gus. Well, hat shapes are, you know, named differently by, by different, um, regions yep. and also different hat shapes, yep. you know, Absolutely. Uh, Joby calls, you know, Joby calls his, um, Sinaloa, um, uh, brim shape. And I think that's kind of like the El Patron. Uh, it's very similar to the El Patron shape, which is, um, a Stetson, shape. So, I mean, you know, it, there's only so many different ways to shape a hat. Uh, well, I, I guess there's infinite ways to shape a hat, but, um, you know, there's, there's very certain, there's certain very, um, you know, help me out here guys. You know, there's, there's people have a certain, well, there's only certain variations to, to a point. Heck. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. But, you know, so everybody gives it a different name and, you know, and that's, I mean, it's the same thing with the brick. I mean, you got the brick, you got the bigs, the the UN. I mean, there's like eight different names for a brick. And there's eight different ways yep. of doing a brick. You've got a narrow, right. long brick. You've got a rounded brick. I mean, you got this brick where it's more squared off on the top. I mean, you got the brick that they pop up the center. Yep, the, yep. You get a yep. pop through brick. It, I mean, it's yep. just just and that's just a brick. You're not you know not talking about a cat, you know, a deep cattleman, a tall cattleman. Deep Wide dimples cattleman. on a tall cattleman versus small, you know, not as deep dimples on a short cattleman. I, I mean, even the, the mimic, that's like, to me, that's one of the most yeah. simple shapes there is. There's like eight different ways to do a mimic. At, at that's least. right. And, I, and um, so I really like this mimic, which is, um, 
is it's a little different. You know, it's kind of closer to the top. It's um, it's it's more elongated. I would probably like it a little longer and more round. You know, or uh, not round, but um, like an oblong oval. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of people you know, on, on a minic, uh, you see a lot of times they do more of like what you would call a punchy side, real circular. Yep. I I'm like mm-hmm. you. I like more of an elongated type oval, almost you know what you would kind of see on a break, but not as elongated and a little less you know more rounded down. Right. Yeah. Right. And then, then again, you see a lot of people on a brick. You know, this one's not that way. These are elongated. You see a lot of people go down real deep in a brick. This is what a lot, I've seen a lot of people call this like a Kojo brick. You know, you didn't mm-hmm. see these elongated sides and more, you know, not as deep, but, you know, until until Kojo got real big with them, with, you know, when Cody Johnson started wearing this type of shape. Yep. Right. And this one is uh, one of these, um, this is a wide cattleman right here. Yep. That's something you don't see a lot of either. No, you don't see a lot of that. So if you're, if you're on the fence between a, uh, um, a minic and a cattleman, or you could just go and get a wide cattleman, and it's not going to be exactly the same, but it's going to be a little sharper. If uh, I see, if a I see a lot of guys a, do that that want a brick, but don't want a minute, wide yes, the top for a brick. They'll do a wide cattleman. Yeah, so it's the, a little bit more of a squared off for a cattleman. This is the this is the um, American. Uh, th- this is factory shaped uh, in house, so. That's that's their um, center crease for a minic, and and it's it's kind of it's kind of different, you know. It's kind of yeah, got a little, um, it's, yeah, it is yeah, wide, but it's, wide. it's got a little bulge in the middle, and then it, you know it's rounded. I, I really like I really like it, and it's it's very easy to to grab. So, so. it's almost like, like they started that. shaping a brick and, and stopped. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. This is this one uh, was also factory shaped, uh, but like I said, completely different shape. So if uh, you're if, wide cattleman, you know. Uh, I'll say this: If you're on the Brit, on, on the fence of doing a minic and you want to get a minic, contact Joby and let Joby shape you a minic. Yep. That man can shape a minic. I've got two for him, and they can are shape anything. fantastic hats, and they are greatly shaped. And it's you know, to me, it is the perfect minic. The way he does it, it's a little taller, long, not not as indented, not as wide. More of that cattleman classic look to it, with a, you know, elongated dimple on the side. It, it's a different look. I should have taken some video um, while I was there, uh, shaping with him. It's, um, you know, the way they do a minic, and they do you know hundreds of minics every day. Yeah, um, and that's, video that's the way I, I, I do a minic. I'll now. send to you. Okay. Shucks, I'll, I'll add Joby's. That. Yeah. Jo- Joby's actually made a resist all look halfway decent. Right. I mean, I mean, Joby makes about as good of a shaper as you can you get. Know, I'm not a rodeo king person, but Joby can make a rodeo king look great. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, like I said, he made he, he by halfway decent. I mean, he made it look good. Oh, well, they make know, him look great, and it's for, crazy for, for being if, a a resist all. If you never seen pictures of his back warehouse, the amount of different hats that he has that he sells is ridiculous compared to anybody else. Yeah, he goes through a lot of hats. I've been in his warehouse. Uh, he's got three warehouses actually, um, right there in the, in the, the shopping center. So he can he can pull from a lot of different stock. And, yeah, uh, and, it, and it's and it's all kinds of brands too. You know, a lot of yeah. shops you see, hey, they just sell Radio King Resist All or American Resist All, American American. No, that man has everything, and it is yeah, crazy. It and it's not all on the website. You know, we no, you've we've talked about this him. in the past. You got to call him. You have to call him because I, every time there's been several times on the page I've spoke to people looking for hats said, hey check out Joby's like well I checked the website and have none I said call him and they messaged me said hey he had the hat I was looking for you've got to call him there you go yep definitely I, I've so had that stock, happen a lot and he goes through so much stock he cannot keep up with that website All right yep I've had definitely a lot of uh, even my own viewers on the uh, Cowboy Boots Hats and Western Lock Enthusiasts that was actually looking for hats and said, you know, uh, you know, this store that you recommended, uh, I couldn't get it. This other store you recommended, I, I couldn't get it, but I went on to, to Joby's and I actually found it there. So um, definitely he's going to have mostly everything. And, yeah, he he's just phenomenal at, at, at shaping hats oh. so y- y'all y'all ain't gonna have a problem with no, that not at sure. all and all of his hat shapers are great not just joby i mean that that whole yeah. crew have been trained phenomenally i mean it's a it's a great group i would i would have my hat shaped by anyone and uh oh yeah 
you know, let me, I'll add this in too, and I do it all the time if I'm looking for something specific. If you don't have time to sit on the phone, you can text Joby's office number, their main number. You can text that number, and they'll send you pictures when they get to you. And they are you can also, great. You can also call Kevin and have him go out there and look for you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't do, that. do that. You did not hear that? Y'all best don't not start that, that now. We love you, you know Kevin. Time, you know how many times I've had that conversation with Kevin? Do not call. Don't. No. Don't Kevin will Kevin. help you in any way you will, but don't bother Kevin about a hat. Yeah. yeah. He'll block you. No, he yeah. won't. He won't hey, just, you. just don't do it. Trust me. I, I, I've um, heard that. Don't do it. <laughs> no, I love so Kevin. I want to talk. Kevin. Kevin's a great guy. He has helped me out in so many ways. Not being able to find something in Georgia, and he has found something for me. He a phenomenal guy, but just call Joby. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't know, we're talking about Kevin Yoon. He's a fellow brand ambassador for American Hat and uh, Joby, um, Joby's Hat Shop. Um, so, you know, I want to talk about another straw hat. Um, we've talked about Resist All and Stetson, um, you know, which are, you know, the major players. American is, um, is always top shelf and, you know, uh, kind of, a, you know, just a little bit above everybody else. Actually, a lot of bit above everybody else. Yeah, it's a little, yeah, bit, it's a little, more, a little bit more expensive. But um, <clears throat> Atwood, Atwood straw hats. Um, and, you know, Cavender's got a lot of them, but they don't sell a lot of them. And I'll tell you why. They're not doing a really good job of getting their name out there. And I don't know why that is, because, you know, they're a great hat made right here in Texas for their felts, okay? But their straws are really nice. You know, you look inside... Uh, the sweatband, and you know it's a leather sweatband. The only problem I have is they are very close to American pricing, but they're made in Mexico. You know, I don't understand. I think they're way overpriced. I think I think Rafter C are way overpriced too, but I think there needs to be, you know, some kind of middle ground there. Rafter C should probably be $75. Maybe the Atwood should be $120 because they're a great hat, but uh, the value is not there. It's not American-made product way too expensive. for me. It, it's horrible. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah, when uh, I think they need to reassess that. When when the Cavaners first came here, pre you know right around the beginning of COVID, you get a Raptor C hat. Uh, their their cheaper hats were forty five fifty bucks, and you get a, you could get their higher hat for seventy five eight dollars. If you wanted something where you weren't going to break the bank and you were going to wear it to one event or once in a blue moon, it was a great option. But now you can't even get their lower quality hat for less than hundred dollars. It's uh, yeah. it, it's ridiculous. Well, you know, Rafter C, um, right now in Austin, Rafter C, decent looking hats, you know, with um, the same style as uh, the American hats. Yep. They're going for ninety nine dollars. Open yep, right hundred bucks. Um, Atwood is is you know they make they make a poly rope, they make a Shantung, you know, um, I, they make a Bangora, you know. But they're just too expensive. I mean, it's a great quality hat. Um, you know, if if I had my choice, I would go with a Joby straw over an Atwood, just because Joby's prices uh, kind of reflect that a little more. He's in the hundred and forty dollar range, but man, Lionel, that that sweatband is ridiculous, isn't it? Lambskin, soft. Oh man, that thing was phenomenal. I, I mean, it it was really soft. You know, it just. Um, it kind of reminded me of actually my uh, Lucchese, um, how it has like a little bit of that like really soft and conforming distress feel to it. It was it was really nice. I'm going to talk to Joby about doing a um, a torture test on one of his hats. I mean, I'm I'm not going to destroy it or anything like that, but I I'd like to get one of his straws and um, you know kind of wear it next summer when it's really hot here. Um, I wore um, my 50-50 to a barbecue um, when it was 110 degrees here in Austin. And um, I sweated completely through. Um, the hat band, you know, was, was soaked all the way around. Um, you can't even tell there's anything wrong with this. You know, it, it just kind of went back to normal. It, it's, a, it's a very breathable hat for something like that. So I would love to do uh, a test on one of Joby's hats 
and, and see how it holds up. Because, you know, just holding it in your hand is one thing. It's a great hat. But I want to see how it performs because I think it would do very well. Yeah. Yeah. They are, uh, they're great looking hats and they're, they're definitely, I agree with you, they're in the price range of where they need to be compared to a lot of other brands. Yes, absolutely. I think you could even get, like comparing those to another brand, I think they're even a better bang for your buck if you're going to stay in the lower, like, 100 price range. I agree. Uh, I think I think they are. And uh, they look phenomenal, too. I mean, you know, yeah, like absolutely. we talked earlier, a lot of hats in that 100 to $150 price range look cheap. Joby's don't look that yeah, way. It, they look like a good, you know, a, a very decent quality, good quality hat. So I mentioned um, Bangora Shantung and um, and the Poly Rope. So those are those are also um, options you can get in an American hat. So yep. Bangora and um, and Poly Rope. These are going to be you know work hats basically. Uh, they're going to be just a hard use hat. Um, it's a little different material. It's um, you know Bangora is a um, woven on a loom, so it's. Um, it's going to be kind of made backwards. The shantung is going to be hand um, woven, and uh, the poly rope is a little different. It's it's a what is it polyester or polyurethane? What is it polyester? Rope? No, the um, I think the the bangora is machine woven. It is. That's what I said. But uh, but the poly rope is what? What is it made out of? Polyester or is it polyurethane? I guess it's polyester, right? believe so i'm gonna have to check on that yeah i'm gonna check on that the, i'll put it i'll put a note i'll i'll I'll, uh, I'll text um cody and ask him what that's exactly made of or i'll do an internet search one of the two yeah the, the poly rope man is, is that phenomenal hat and i think for me if you want something to work with i i personally would rather wear a poly rope than a bangora um bangor is a tough hat but the poly rope the way the best hat explained it it was a, it was a great way they call it a punch through hat you know, if, if you're riding and a horse steps on it, you can punch it back out and it's going to be fine. And right. It, it a whole sh- and it shapes interesting. If, if you're a, if you're a, if you like to shape your own hats, that that's one of the hats I would buy and let somebody else shape that knows what they're doing. The way that hat dries, the you know, it doesn't take a lot of steam to shape it, uh, especially the brim. The brim's all wire. You you don't have to heat the brim up at all. And, and you know, getting it to hold, we had a big issue getting it to hold a brick just the way it wants to dry and kind of pop itself back out. But, I mean, it holds a minute or a cattleman great. And, and it's an absolutely phenomenal hat. They breathe great. They're strong. I, I had one this summer. I worked in all summer and beat the living crap out of it. And it's it was a great hat. I I just noticed I'm, I'm, I'm looking over here a lot, and that's because um, I've got all these hats on, on the table, and I've had to move my uh, computer over here. Um, so I'm looking at Lionel and uh, Clay as they talk. So sorry about that if, it, if it's uh, a little awkward, but uh, it, we're going to do what we're going to do right now. Um, so Lionel and I, last week we talked about uh, hat sizes. I mentioned that um, my, my st- this, this goes back to the breaking a hat in. And I, I mentioned that um, you know I haven't worn this hat enough for it to break in. I've still got sizing tape inside it. Um, so it's just it's not it's not perfectly comfortable yet, and I've worn these all summer, so they fit perfectly, um, you know. And I've actually taken the uh, the sizing tape out of these hats, and they, um, I mean, they just fit awesome. I love these hats. So that's something to be aware of that uh, a hat is going to shrink, right, Lionel? Yes, sir. So your hat's going to shrink, and it's going to conform to your head. And this goes for straw and felt. Um, so Lionel and I were talking about how to measure your head, right, Lionel? And yeah, absolutely. So I want to talk your advice on that. So I want to talk to you guys just real quick. Um, if you're if you're on the fence about buying a hat online at, c- because you don't know your size, um, I want to give you a couple little tips here, real quick. So you always want to go up a size. Uh, if you're, let me rephrase that. If you are in between sizes, you always want to go to the next higher size. That way you can add some tape and allow for that hat to conform and shrink to your head. Now there are uh, round oval, which is actually a regular oval. Um, uh, it's for a more round, if your head's more round. Uh, then you have a long oval or an extra long oval. 
and um, American comes in both. But uh, this is a like a seamstress tape, and uh, I have one at home. We have several at uh, work, and I'm going to show you real quick how to how to do that. So you're just going to take this tape, and you're going to wrap it around your head where your hat would sit, and you don't want it real tight. So you just just wrap it around your head where your hat's going to sit, and then you best way to do this is in the mirror, but you can uh, kind of figure out, all right, 22 and a half. You take 22 and a half, divide that by pi, and that gives you your hat size. I am, um, what did what I say? It's um, 7.18, I believe, which is right in between 7 and a quarter and 7 and an eighth. So I wear 7 and a quarter. Now, if you don't have a seamstress tape, phone charger, cable. So you can wrap that around your head, right? And you can just take a tape measure and measure that. Divide that by pi, which is 3.14, and you've got your hat size. That'll give you a place to start, especially if you're uh, new to hats or new to buying hats on the Internet. What do we use for hat sizing? If you want to... Um, if, you, if you're in between sizes and you go the next size up, what do you use to size your hat down if you're, um, until it's, it's broken in? It's weather stripping. So you can pick this up on Amazon. Um, you can ask your hat shaper to include some if you're ordering online. Um, or you can use masking tape. And if you check out the best hat video, um, there's an instruction on how to put that in there. Okay. What do you guys got? Anything else? Man, I'm just excited for this giveaway. I'm uh, <laughs> Same here. I, I think it's absolutely phenomenal. When uh, you know, I joined the group. I think we might have had 150 members. Uh, you know, to see us at 20,000, it's uh, it's absolutely crazy. Um, you know, while we're here, I, I just personally myself want to give a big thanks to the entire moderator team. You know, it, it takes all of us to run that page, and it really does. And uh, we do, I think we do a phenomenal job, not only us three, but the entire team of, uh, of admin yep. moderators that we have do a phenomenal job with, with running this page and keeping it where people aren't, you know, having issues. And yeah, it's a really good community at this point, I think, where you can come, you can talk about your hats. You can, you know, you say, hey, I'm looking for this, blah, blah, blah. And people can tell you where to go find it at, especially with how hard it is yep. to get an American right now. And there's so many retailers of American people don't know about because they they don't put themselves out there, unfortunately. And, you know, but, you know, a, a, it's a great word of mouth to be able to get a retailer out and be, hey, this retailer might have what you're looking for. Give them a call. I agree 100%. Um, yes, absolutely. You know, we've got we've got one of the best groups on Facebook. It's one of it's the in my opinion, it's the best open group on Facebook because uh, we have virtually eliminated um, spam and, um, you know, spammers can, you know, from, from the group. Uh, our yeah. moderation team has done a fantastic job. I really appreciate them. And I, there's no way <clears throat> Lionel and I could do this without them. Um, you know, it's just, um, it's, a, it's a lot of work, especially when you get up to 20,000 people. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, uh, I've got a couple more things I want to talk about, but let's go ahead and do the giveaway. You want to? Oh, I, I just uh, wanted to say one thing, yeah. too, uh, uh, real quick before we do that. Uh, so, you know, and, and that goes back to what you were saying, Joe, that, you know, about the stock photos for American hats uh, not, you know, being the best. You know, there are reference points, so you could kind of see, you know, how they look. And you'll know the, the, the number. So if you're interested in that hat, I'd recommend that you say, okay, well, I think I like the, you know, 5050 or the 6200. You grab that, uh, that number, you type in American hat 6200 on Google, and you'll find a bunch of them, mostly from Joby's because Joby does take some of the best pictures in the industry. So even before I knew about Joby's, I used to always, you know, look up hat pictures and it's usually Joby's used to, you know, show it up. But now also another tr uh, trick y'all could do is basically just go on Facebook 
and type in that hat and you'll see under photos all the posts and now most of those posts if you're looking for an american hat are actually going to be coming from our page but y'all could actually find multiple different pictures of the hat whether it's you know standing on joby's stand or actually on somebody's head so definitely you know if, if y'all are, are are wondering what a hat looks like out in the real world and not just in the stock photos i think that's a very good way of doing it and that works with really anything yeah uh I meant to mention this earlier, but if you if you guys are looking for some pictures of Double R Hat House, look them up on Instagram. They post every okay. every time they get a new stock in, they take a new photo with a back black ground with that hat lit up correctly. And it's an open crown flat hat for you can see what exactly what you're getting. And it's an absolute great photo. And they have some of the, the you know, you usually see four and a quarter, four and a half to four. I've seen them. They carry three and a half inch brims. They carry three and a quarter, four and seven eighths, four and a four and three quarter hat and and the straw, American straws. And so they have some definitely an interesting stock. Um, if you're interested in them, they're a smaller you know smaller business. It takes them some time to get your hat, but uh, if you know somebody like Joby doesn't have it or Best Hat doesn't have it, you know hit them up, give them a call. They're great people. They really are. Yeah, they're on my list. I'm gonna I'm gonna go do a hat there eventually. I just haven't had the the time to get out there. So where are they located? Bastrop. Are they? Yes. Yeah, it's over by Bastrop. Elgin. Is, Elgin. Uh, El Elgin. 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 Yeah. Elgin. Yeah. Elgin. yeah. They, they okay. just, so it's, it's cool. just, it's a, it's a man and his wife and uh, they've, they got a little helper with them and he shapes all the hats himself. So it's That's personal. Awesome. And all they care is American, yeah. and they're like Joby's. They have their own little brand of straw hats. And that's about it. Nice. It's uh, it's now, about NRS 40... World, and oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, so Double R is about forty-five minutes outside of uh, South Austin. Um, I'm in South Austin. It says it's a forty-five minute drive. Um, let's see exactly how far. Yeah, I think that that would be but, a great uh, video. Yeah. Um, it's 33 miles. I'm in South Austin, so 33 miles. I'm by the airport, so that gives you any idea. But um, if you live in Austin, you probably already know about them. Yeah, in NRS World and um, um, Silver Spur Saddle Shops are also big carriers of those uh, hats too. Okay, but you know, just a few other places to name. I might if he, if if Joby's doesn't have it or best hat. All right, so we're gonna do the we're gonna go ahead and do the drawing now for the giveaway. Um, All right. Just a little disclaimer here. Um, we've got a lot of entries, and um, we're gonna announce the the winner right now. But uh, we're gonna vet the winner because there are two criteria that have to be met in order for. Um, the uh, the individual to be eligible, they have to be a member of American Hat Company Enthusiast Group, and they have to have liked uh, the American um, uh, Facebook page. So we're going to announce the winner, and then we'll vet the winner, and uh, if any problems occur, uh, oh, you know, they actually have to be 18 years old and uh, or older, and uh, we're, they have to sh have the hat shipped to a, a, a continental United States address. So if uh, if those four criteria aren't met, uh, then we're going to have to uh, draw again. So we'll uh, <clears throat> we'll report back uh, on American Hat Company Enthusiast Group uh, with the the actual winner after we talk to them. So uh, <laughs> I uh, I have to go over here to my uh, my. Uh, so Elon Musk developed this software for us, and uh, I can only run it on this computer over here. So I'm going to go over here. <laughs> Specifically for us, you know, it takes all those algorithms and stuff. And you know. so anyway, we're going to go over here. I'm going to check hat that guy. out and see. Yeah, he's a huge American hat guy. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to go check this out real quick, and I'll be right back uh, with our winner. Sweet. Nice. Man, this is, this is a big opportunity Lyle, for somebody, man. Uh, I, I don't even know, if, you know, if we were the opportunity to win, I, I have no clue what I'd even pick. There, there's so many great hats in that catalog now that uh, it, it's, I don't even know if I could pick one. Oh yeah, not for sure. That's probably going to be the most stressful part of it. It's just 
you know, which hat are you going to pick? And then, then again, and, and then when you pick one, say you want the fifty fifty, what variant do you want on the fifty fifty? Because the fifty four, yeah, fifty forty, that's a different variant. Fifty one hundred is a different variant of that hat. Absolutely, there, you know, there's a, it's it's endless possibilities, man. And then then what brim size do you want? You know, what shade, yeah. I mean, this is, this is really awesome. I hope, I really hope somebody wins this that don't have an American hat. I think that would be phenomenal that, you know, maybe it doesn't oh, have the opportunity absolutely. to get a hat right now. And, uh, you know, if they don't, they don't, if they do, they do, no matter what, I, I think it's awesome for, for the page. Yeah. I think they'll find out exactly what, what, what it's supposed to be. And, um, also at least now they'll know how to find, uh, the hat, like a, a proper picture of the hat. Yeah. Yeah, they can really see what they want. Yep. All right, guys. I, I agree. I was listening to you. Um, I, you know, I would love to have the uh, the ten twenty two, uh, the ten eleven. I'm, I'm going back and forth between the ten twenty two and the ten eleven. Man, I, it's hard um, to beat that darker look. It's a little bit you know, darker brown. That, that hat that you have, Lionel, the one that you got at NRS. What was it, what model was that? Fifty seven hundred. Uh, fifty two hundred. Fifty two hundred. That hat. That's it? that. that yeah, fifty two hundred. That hat's one of those that, um, if you look at it on the American website, it's not that great. Of a, it doesn't look that great to me. No, it doesn't. You know, in it their does stock not, photos. At all. But but seeing it in person, love that hat. It's oh yeah, seeing awesome those pictures Ronald hat. posted of it, I thought I hated the hat, and then I saw the pictures with the you know, bits of steel and everything. Man, it's a fabulous looking hat, man. It's a great looking hat. Yep. Yeah. And that, that goes for a yeah, lot of the hats uh, it really American does. makes. I mean, you know, so 6100 right here. This hat, I did not like this hat, and it's a little too bright. I think you can't really tell uh, how good this hat is. I really liked this hat after I got it. Um, you know, this was one of those Lionel and I found for um, $100 shipped. Um, I still hate y'all for that. <laughs> and so we both got one. <laughs> Uh, this was before our, our affiliation with American, um, and and, and uh, you know this turned out to be just a fantastic hat. Love the hat. Okay, so that being said, uh, one lucky winner who uh, <laughs> I've already I've already uh, checked, and I'll tell you what it, it's so funny because uh, I I looked at his email address, and the first part of his email address is a redneck. So I mean. Um, <laughs> <laughs> So, um, yeah, so he's going to have to decide what he, uh, what he wants. And, um, <clears throat> if, if he watched, um, the video for, for this contest, uh, all the way through, he knows what he, what he needs to do to, um, to get the, the little extra prize pack with that. Um, Jeremy Sherman. So that's our winner. Congratulations, Congrats, Jeremy. Congratulations. I'm looking forward and, to seeing uh, I'll be sending you out an email. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'll be sending out an email to Jeremy Sherman here uh, this evening, and um, we'll get all his pertinent information and send that over to, to American and um, get that taken care of. So that's, uh, that's awesome. Uh, everybody else who didn't win but uh, participated, we, we really thank you. Um, you know, we got something like uh, 1,700 uh, likes on on the um, Instagram uh, advertising for that, the, the Instagram post, uh, the the post on American Hat Company Enthusiast, I don't know how many that got, well over 700, I'm sure. No, I mean, it, it, was, it, it was huge. So, it, you know, it um, it's really great uh, of American to do this. Uh, we really appreciate Absolutely. American um, stepping up and, and, and doing that. So a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of work, man. A lot of work went into to making this giveaway. Yeah, yeah. And you know, Elon stepped up and got got us that software. That wasn't cheap, man. You know, that guy's not cheap. <laughs> hey, we got to have the best. That's right. High standards. He yes, sir. He knew there was an American hat on the line. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, I know Clay. Uh, we don't have much time left here. Uh, but I wanted to get to some comments. So this is something uh, a little new, but uh, I got some comments in an email recently. And if you would like to send us comments, um, you can always comment on, on the post and on, um, on YouTube. Uh, but 
some people took the time to send me uh, emails. And I wanted to awesome. uh, I wanted to go ahead and, and share those with you. So, if you want to send us an email, you can send them directly to me at Cowboy Cartel Group at gmail dot com. Uh, you can send them to the podcast in general at the podcast at Cowboy Cartel Group dot com. Um, if you would like us to read uh, your comment, please uh, let us know whether it's okay to use your first and last name. Um, otherwise, we are just going to use your first name. Um, so Calvin Anderson, he sent he sent us a letter and uh, he said, uh, "Hey buddy, thanks for the uh, thanks for thanks for cre- creating the group. Uh, I re- really enjoy the content." So uh, that's our American Hat Company enthusiast group. Specifically, he's talking about. Uh, and then Mike Mike sent me um, an email and I I sent him an email back uh, asking if we could use his name. And then he had some questions, so we're going to get to those questions too. Um, so Mike said. Uh, Hey, Joe and Cowboy Cartel um, contributors. Just a fun letter to say, um, I love your content. I'm going to have to put my glasses on. Sorry here, guys. (laughs) That's getting old, man. It sucks. Um, I love your content on YouTube. Uh, Joe, you're a great presenter. Uh, Plus, you have awesome taste in boots and hats. Thanks for your vid. he said he's going to contact Fenolio about boots. Uh, he wants some vamps like the um, the Fuji roughouts I have. Um, Phenomenal boots. Seriously wants a 6700 nice. American hat. Uh, really likes that hat. He's got a number of straws, but he doesn't have an American yet. So he went on to with some questions. And I, I just wanted to address those questions real quick. Um, so this is off topic a little bit about, uh, not about straw hats, but he's asking about the, the chocolate Fuji boots um, from Finolio, and they're not on the website. I, we, when Lionel and I went and did the, um, the Finolio video and the factory tour, um, we went over to the Finolio store. They actually have a retail store in Nakona, Texas. That's where I tried on a bunch of boots, and I fell in love with the chocolate Fuji rough outs. Now, those are, I don't know if they're an exclusive, but they are available in um, in the what is the name of that store? It's it's not the Fenolio store. It's the boot, boot store, I think. Right? Boot Company of Nakona or Nakona Boot Company? It's something like that. Nakona Boot Company. I will yeah. put a I will put a note here somewhere. Um, yeah. With the link to them, but it's uh, Nakona Boot Company. I think is is right. Um, but it is uh, the Fenolio retail store, and um, they have them there. So what they do is they. Um, it's kind, of, it's kind of like Anderson Bean, you know. Uh, different companies can order specific boots for them from Finolio yeah. in the style they want. You know, if, uh, say, um, you know, Texas Boot Company wants a specific Finolio, they can say, I want this vamp, this um, shaft, you know, this outsole, this heel, this um, spur ledge, and, and they'll get that. Now, you can order... Um, uh, a custom boot from Finolio, but you have to go through their retailers. I don't know if you can order custom from their um, retail store in Nakona. That's that's a question we need to ask them. Yep. And, you know, um, when I was looking on, on uh, Finolio's website, I was looking for those uh, electric blue elephants that they had in the factory, and uh, I couldn't find them on the website. And I just typed in Finolio electric blue elephant and I forgot which store it was, but it did pop up. So, you know, like I said, again, you know, Google whatever y'all's looking for. And most, most, most of the time you're going to find it. You know, so you know, just give them a call, man. Go ahead. Um, I, yeah, I gave absolutely. them a call and they were absolutely phenomenal with helping me out. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, uh, Trey, is there, um, what, what is his title? I think he's a foreman or, um, superintendent. Uh, Trey is a um, great guy. He will help you out and tell you exactly what you need to know. Uh, Caden Finolio is also um, there. You can talk to him. Um, but Mike goes on to ask um, about the price for a 6700 So in general, um, just look at 200 bucks out the door for an American hat, uh, $200, $210, something like that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, uh, about, about the only way I, you, you can get one a little bit less is uh, NRS has some discount codes once in a blue moon. 
especially if you buy from them. Uh, they, they sent me a big thank you thing with like a two or three twenty dollar off coupons. Right. I mean, in general, you know, <clears throat> retail is going to be one hundred and one hundred and eighty. 180 to 195 dollars. Yep. So out the door, you know, probably 100, 210 dollars. Excuse me, guys. Come on now. So um, I know. <clears throat> Can't talk tonight. So um, right around the 200 dollar market for an American hat is, you know, kind of what you need to budget. Uh, you can get a Bangor for like 125 bucks, but I mean that's that's a serious work hat. I think the I think the poly ropes what 150 something what, like that. I've seen it range from 140 to 160. Yeah. Um, the poly rope. You yeah. know that 1022 and that 1011. Um, I think I mentioned this before. That's like the most expensive hat American makes. It's like 195, 196 dollars. Yeah. Well, now uh, a good, uh, yeah, the fifty fifty from Joby's, if uh, that's one hundred ninety nine dollars from him. So. Yeah, there is a price increase. I don't know if it's already happened or if it's coming. So it was supposed to happen September first, yeah. is what Joby told me. Yeah. So. But anyway, Mike, um, that's um, that's kind of what you want to budget. Um. So we had another guy. Message me. He's messaged me a few times, and you guys can message me at um, uh, the Cowboy Cartel Facebook page, and just know that's a business page, and you um, you'll probably get me responding. But you could it could also be Clay or it could be Stephen. Um, everybody, all all three of us have access to that. If you're if you're asking me questions in Spanish, you're probably getting my wife's uh, my wife's proper response. You know how many times I've opened messages and it's been in Spanish, and I just close it. It's like, it's like Joe's got it. I don't <laughs> Thanks, speak buddy. I, well, <laughs> I speak very minimal Spanish. I can't text Spanish. Yeah. Um, I, I do okay. I can order tacos and beer, and um, I, 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 I can get by. I can get by. Uh, but, so, yeah, just, just know that. Um, but Juan Rodriguez... Um, he messaged me. He's messaged me a few times, and we talked. And he asked. He's a, he's a musician, and he asked about creating music for our Facebook content. And so, you know, I've used several different uh, intros for the podcast, and I haven't really found something I like. You know, uh, it's just I just haven't found anything that, that really works with it. So, um, we would like to have Juan do us a uh, you know. Uh, an intro and outro music for the podcast. So what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments or send us an email. What, um, what style of music would go good um, for the podcast? Now, I've, I've tried something like a, a news intro. I think I've used that before. I've used, um, I've used, I don't know, I don't know what I've used for this thing. You know, it's just it, doing the, um, the editing for this is always... It's always very tedious. It takes several hours, and um, you know there's a lot to do uh, when you put, you know, a four shot in there. It's, I mean, um, Clay, we may have to start asking um, your girl to to help with this because it it really <laughs> it it really is time consuming. It's it's probably a four hour job for me to sit Just down and do it. Now. She could probably do it. In, yeah, she's uh, probably going to knock it out in forty five minutes. Or less, yeah. It's I'm sure. dude, I've watched that girl edit. It is crazy how quick she can edit something. It, it, she's so efficient with it. It's it's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. So that's what you know. That's what school will do for you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? What do, what do you what do you think about some music? I wouldn't be mad at a you know a, a western, even you know like a western top Latina Latino top vibe to it. You know something. Okay. You know, it's Texas. Well, sure. Most of us will be Texas here within the next six months. <laughs> there you go. Hopefully, all of us. Well, yep. Uh, I I would say, I would say something more like Western theme. You know, like I had on my channel way back when. You know, maybe a, a little bit of fiddle never hurts. So, sort of, 
you know. We'll, okay. we'll just message John Party or Kojo, and we'll let we'll let him do something. <laughs> <laughs> there, you there you go. That works. Hey man, hey. why don't you just go with the king himself, George Shrek? Uh, yeah. yeah, I got George on speed dial here. Let me, let me call yeah. him. We'll get him. We'll get him on the podcast. Yeah, would you? We'll, get him on hey, the we'll podcast, have right? would you? Call I think he. There you go. There you go. Uh, he just—he's been texting me forever. Who, John? So uh, you want to reply to him, George Shrek? Oh, George. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, I can't get that guy off my phone, man. Uh, we wish we had I that know, problem. Right? I mean, so, if we can't have a good time. Why are we doing it at all? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So, so uh, Juan's going to do um, Juan's going to do our our music for us here coming up. So, but we definitely want some feedback from you guys. Um, let us know. You know, let us know what you what, what you want to see. Let us know what you want to see in the podcast. Let us know what kind of music uh, you think we should have. Um, but we we really appreciate Juan for uh, the offer, and we're going to take him up on that. Yeah. Great. Great opportunity. We really Thank appreciate you, you guys. Uh, let's see here. All right. So what do you guys got coming up? Um, so for me, uh, if this hurricane doesn't hit, uh, in Florida, I got, um, I got a, we just actually hid this morning on the Cowboy Boots, Hats, and Western Life Enthusiast channel. We just hit a thousand subscribers. And I have a, oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it, y'all. So uh, in honor of that, I said I was going to do something a little, you know, a little bit bigger. So I'm going to be doing a uh, Justin Boot review. And it's going to be the start to a giveaway that will happen two weeks after that. Okay, cool. Awesome. Clay, you got anything coming up? We got any, we got, we're going to see any videos from Clay? No? All right, we might have lost Clay. I'm back. I'm Maybe back. he just doesn't okay. have any Somebody videos. Somebody tried to call me. You're back. back, okay. All at the very okay, end, okay. Oh, there you go. Me. Okay. Uh, I was saying, what? What do you, uh, are we going to see any videos from you, Clay? What do you got coming up? Yes, yes. I, I have one in editing. It's coming. Ah, nice. If, nice. if she can get to it, it's coming. She's been really busy. Nice. Um, uh, right. yeah. Mentioned earlier, we're, we're taking the trip to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I, I, I'm hoping and I'm, I'm trying to get in contact with uh, Stephen, who is the owner of uh, Stages West Western. We're up there, a very large Western store in our area up there in Pigeon Forge. Um, they're an American retailer. They're a big, big Greeley retailer. That, they do a trunk show twice a year with Trent of uh, Greeley Hat Works. And uh, I'm hoping I can I can squeeze in there for about 30, 45 minutes and maybe get a, a, a you know video him shaping and a little bit of a conversation and the background behind stages they've been they've been in there they've been in that area since the 80s and uh it's a three it's a three-story western store it's a big place wow yeah i'd love to see yeah. some shots yeah of that they have over a thousand I've, boots uh, it's it's a massive place i've been to pigeon forge i've never been there um I, i'll put it on the list for next time yeah great pigeon forge hey, is a great place uh, there's there's uh between Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg, there's about five Western stores I'm going to hit. And I'm, I'm hoping maybe I can get videos at each one. If it's just a little mm-hmm. bit of B-roll or what it, what it might be. And uh, maybe, get, you know, talk to an owner, talk to a manager. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we can get. Sure. Hey, Clay, um, are you going to be hitting up uh, or driving through Memphis? I'll be near Memphis, yes. Nowhere. Not this trip, but the next trip. I would... Okay, I would urge you to stop, and I, I, I haven't checked it out in person. I've seen it on videos. Do me a favor and do a, a video uh, checking out the Pyramid Bass Pro uh-huh. Shops. I'd yeah, love to see, I, I think I'd love to cool see you make that video. Yeah, we, we plan on going. It to, would be. We want to go to Graceland here soon, so we'll be up that way and in, uh, in Memphis. Yeah, that's that's the other side of Tennessee, unfortunately. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Graceland is, um, it's something to see. Uh, I've been there, um, once probably 15 years ago and it's, um, it's definitely worth the trip. It's, it's, it's like stepping in in 1972. She wants to go to Graceland. I want to go see the Bass Pro Pyramid. It works out. 
There you go. There, there you go. Yep. Our toes everywhere. <laughs> Our toes and bell bottoms. Yeah. Floral shirts. All right. So I've got a couple things coming up. Um, I've been doing research for a video on the um, the Ariat, the double. Um, I got I got two Ariats in. Um, Sorry, I'm getting some feedback here. Uh, I got two Ariats in, in ostrich, one full ostrich and one um, um, a smooth quill ostrich. Um, so that's that's coming up probably real soon. Um, but so American um, felts are coming in this this next week or so. Um, it's supposed to be the end of September, beginning of October in that period. Uh, so... I'll be going to pick up my American felt for the year at the best hat store. And um, Andy Henson is going to be shaping that up for me. And we're, no. we're going to be doing a video with Andy. Um, you can find him on Instagram as Insta underscore Andy zero eight. I think we lost Lionel. Um, yeah. He'll be back maybe. Uh, so we'll, we'll be doing a, a video with Insta Andy, Andy Henson. Um, from the best hat store, uh, Kevin Yoon, um, fellow brand ambassador, American yep, brand sorry. ambassador is going to be there with me. That's the plan. And I'm probably going to have him do a, um, uh, a Facebook live video while I'm filming. Um, and we're doing, getting the hat shaped, uh, and we're going to try to do a Facebook live, uh, on the American hat company enthusiast group. That's so awesome. that'll be, that'll be interesting. Cool. And he's a yeah, I haven't, I haven't done hat shaper. Yeah, he's he's pretty he's pretty artistic. Uh, he's not he's not one of the more traditional. He likes to do uh, the more artistic stuff, and um, you know I, I haven't decided on what I'm going to do yet. So I know I'm going to get uh, this style brim, which is um, it's supposed to look like this. Uh, so what I what I'm wearing is supposed to look exactly like this, which is it's not quite it's not doesn't have as much dip in it. So this is this is my ideal uh, brim shape for my new. Uh, felt that's coming in, but I haven't decided on the crown yet. So let him put a steer head about, for you. Hey, right. <laughs> I thought about having him do something r really crazy with it, um, but you, you know, as this out. is going to be, yeah, that's true. Uh, as this is, you know, that is yep. true. You know, it could give me uh, another reason to go to Joby. Ah, but no, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. Let me know what you think in the comments or send us, um, you know, send us a, an email. But um, I, right now, I'm just thinking traditional cattleman, just because this is what I'm going to be wearing, you know, all winter. Is that the, uh, the it's chocolate? It's going to be. It is. It's going to be the chocolate 200x. So that'll that'll be yeah. what you know. That'll be my probably my go-to hat for for the winter. Um, beater hat, whatever. Um, so you know, I'm thinking traditional cattleman, but also uh, you know, I got the new Minic, uh going on I, I would really like to see a minute on that but you know we could get andy to to do something crazy with it i think I'm, it would look great I, in that chocolate yeah you think so i believe so yeah let me know what you guys think so help with that yeah uh so my 200x silver belly should be ready right around the same time i mm -hmm. reckon right yeah. um so actually I've pretty much already made up my mind on what I'm going to do. I'm basically going to do this exact shape, uh, which is the CHL. Mm -hmm. But uh, this one's going to be a uh, – uh, it's going to be a four-and-a-half-inch brim as opposed to this four-and-a-quarter. It's going to be like this CHL, and then I'm going to have basically just like that, the wide cattleman on the top on that 200X silver belly. So I think that ought to look good. Yeah, absolutely. I think it'll look fabulous. Yep, I can't wait. I can't wait. I've been I've been excited yes, for this Thank chocolate you. hat for actually, you know, uh, I've talked yeah. about this before on the podcast. I've I've wanted the chocolate for uh, almost a year now, and I wound up with a, um, um, which is what I'm wearing. It's hanging by the door right now. It's what I've been wearing all week. Is the um, the black cherry? Um, you know, that that was the closest I could get to chocolate. So uh, American hooked me up with the chocolate. In a 200x, and I'm, I've been excited for that since since July. I think we well, ordered them in July, right? Yeah, 
Okay. Yeah, we we uh, what, uh, we, we what brim sizes did you go with? I went with four and a half. So you know, smart man. Uh, I started out, <laughs> right? I started out uh, as a four inch brim kind of guy, and then I kind of progressed into four and a quarter. You know, the fifty fifty is a four and a quarter inch brim. Um, the um, sixty one hundred is a four and a quarter, but um, you know, the sixty two uh, no uh, seventy eight hundred. That's a four and a half inch brim, and I just kind of—I don't know—I fell in love with this this shape, and it does not—it it doesn't look that big when I'm wearing it. You know, it doesn't look like um, a four and yeah. a half. It doesn't feel—I couldn't it doesn't tell. feel like it's too big for me. You know, and no. um, I'm wearing the um, I'm wearing the fifty one hundred right now. It's four and a half, and to me, it doesn't feel like it. I. I think it would even feel less so if we got the little dip going on in it. And I might have, uh, I'm going to stop by Joby's. I might have him, I don't know, I might just put this away and wait till summer uh, next year and, and have Joby uh, tune it up for me. But, um, and I've been, I've been waiting for a silver belly forever. As a matter of fact, I remember uh, the, at the time, yeah, I, I bought the, um, what I found that was as close as possible was the ash and, uh, from Rodeo King. Early. And I've had that. Yes. That's my made up <laughs> name for it. I called it ash belly. That's how badly I wanted a silver belly that I even made up a name for a hat. Oh, color. So I went and got that, that ash belly. And, um, you know, Joe, you told me yourself, you said, well, Lionel, you're going to end up, wanting a silver belly and i said uh i think this ash belly ought to do fine for now and you're going you said mark my word you're going to want an ash uh, silver belly same thing and box, uh, sure enough yep yep and I, now i got the best hat uh american hat company and uh, it's going to be a 200x so it's going to be a big huge step from a 10x rodeo king uh, and Ash, so hey, any of y'all want a Rodeo King 10X and seven and a quarter? Y'all know where to find it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, I um, I remember when Lionel, you were looking for, I, what was that? Was it it was a Resist All or a Stetson Silver Belly? We were talking. I think it was a 20X Resist All. Wasn't uh, it? Re, re, 20X Resist All. Yeah, yes, I remember that was that was a while. It. That was before you even got the. Um, the Ash Radio King. So that's been quite yep, a while. I remember you right. for that too. Yeah. Yep, that's I, right. I, I love, that's I love the silver belly. I love the silver belly. I've got yeah. two of them. Um, I will probably get a, a, a third one. I think I've mentioned that before um, because I, I just need a different brim style um, for different occasions. And I probably need something in like a hundred X, you know, just for, Kind of when you don't want to wear a 500. So, when don't you want to wear a 500? Just curious. Uh, when for me, it's when I'm going to get it dirty, dirty, dirty. True. That's, I think I'm going to end up getting a 40x chocolate. We were just talking about that, Clay and I. I think I'm going to get a 40x chocolate for yeah. working um, out, you know, rodeos during the winter time and, you know, just. Horsing around on horseback. Well, here in, in Texas and in Mexico too, um, uh, where where I, I live in Mexico, it's about sixty two hundred foot elevation, and um, excuse me, it's about the the middle of the country, which is um, very hot, and it's a different kind of hot. Um, you know, it's a it's a the sun beating down on you hot, um, so. You know the lighter color hats are are a little better for that. You know, so yeah. the silver belly is a a great great option for springtime and and fall when it's hot and you want to wear felt. Yep. So they're great hats. Yep. Most definitely. Anyway, that's about all I got. What do you guys? Anything else? No, I spots? think that's it. Yeah, that's right about all, right, all. guys. Great show. We went a little long. I, we were we're going to be here an hour, and now we're here an hour and forty minutes, or hour and, yeah. and uh, twenty minutes. So anyway, uh, 
Thanks, everybody, for watching, and congratulations to our winner. Yeah. I'm going to send that uh, email out now. Um, good seeing you guys again. Great show. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Having the show. Great talking yeah. to you guys. As Thank always, you so appreciate much. everybody yeah. uh, listening in. As always, guys, it's a uh, it's been an awesome time. All right. Thanks a lot. Most definitely. Thank you all all for 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 watching. And uh, I just want to thank American Hat for uh, helping us uh, do this great giveaway. We couldn't make it happen without them too, and Joe and 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 Clay and everybody, all the moderators also, on you know just every everybody. It, it took a whole team to get us to where we are, and sure do appreciate it. That's right. Uh, we do appreciate American, and stay tuned. Um, we've got uh, we got more giveaways coming. You know, Lionel's got a giveaway coming. Uh, Cowboy Cartel group on Facebook's got a giveaway coming. Um, we're going to have some more uh, interesting stuff to give away on American Hat Company Enthusiast Group, too. I've been in some talks with uh, some retailers we're not going to mention at the moment. But anyway, we'll talk about that uh, when the time comes. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, guys. I sure, hey, by thanks. the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, till next time, we'll see you. Thanks, guys. See y'all.